Oh, water, ladies and gentlemen, is California's goal. Either we have too little or too much recently, and this past week uh, has uh, resulted in almost a year's worth of rain. Yet, we are nowhere ne near filling our dams, our rivers, our lakes, or aquifers. It does not mean that our concerns over drought and how water is managed in California is, are over. Far from it. We're in the midst of a real challenge. Increasing population, aging infrastructure, water supply restrictions, water quality concerns, environmental concerns, etc. The list goes on, and it continues to grow with each year. We're here today to continue a discussion, and this will not be the last of our hearings in Southern California. Uh, in an attempt to clarify California's water status, the water situation that over the past three years has been intensifying and reaching a dangerous and critical point. The dilemma we face in Washington is how can we work together to meet the challenge cooperatively and in a civil manner, that is, without litigation. Management of water in California is a cooperative effort, balancing between state, federal, and local suppliers. The resulting plumbing system is managed to meet the needs of over 30 million citizens who expect and are used to having good quality product to be delivered to them at a reasonable price. Our desire today is to have dialogue about how the water situation in Southern California factors into the state's wide approach to addressing the larger, the whole state's drought issues and concerns. Everyone here today has a story to tell, and many of you have asked to be heard, and we're asking that you submit some for the record. And likely all of you have suggestions for some of those solutions. It is that dialogue about ideas and suggestions on how we can most effectively work together that we would like to have from you today. The importance of this discussion is, and why we are in Southern California is that the issue of water requires that we hear from all parties and constituencies. Developing a logical and doable approach to addressing California water crisis requires a statewide coordinated approach. I believe we're seeing the manifestation of this in California's legislative efforts in November, the December Interim Federal Action Plan, and last September's Memorandum of Understanding between the state and the six federal agencies, or maybe it's seven. These are all great efforts to bring direction, and now we need consistent and dedicated leadership to be successful. Independent actions taken without commitment will not result in a long-term solution. There's not one answer that will solve the hurt that many have felt and continue to feel under current water conditions. A couple of storms are of some relief, but they are a reflection of weather impact by variable ocean conditions that are not the long-term solutions to addressing the issues that underlie our whole water dilemma. There's been a great deal of conjecture and a lot of one-way dialogue. The current water problems are due to the current regulatory environment, a lot of finger-pointing in the past. While making press clips, they do not provide action nor resolve the underlying problems. In a December 2009 Congressional Research Service report, they concluded that, and I quote, the current drought has created a fundamental shortage of supply, regulatory or court-imposed restrictions, as well as long-established state water rights system, exacerbate the effects of the drought for agriculture and urban water users, end quote. The combined effect of drought, the state's water rights system, the physical constraints of hydrologic plumbing system, carryover surface and groundwater supplies, changing dynamics of climate, and legally mandated regulations for water quality and the environment all affect the delivery of water to agriculture, urban, and environmental systems of California. It is very evident today our water management in California is supply limited. The challenge of all water users is how to adapt and mitigate to live within our water means and not to have a reduction in service or quality and have a loss in the critical environmental services for that water quality. Some have questioned, why are we having a discussion in Southern California rather than in the North? That's where the drought is getting the hardest. The answer is simple. The drought is a statewide concern and demands that all portions of the state be heard from, especially when two-thirds of the California population is in Southern California. When looking at the issue of water debate in California over the last few years, I'd say three or more, 
There have been numerous meetings, hearings, and discussions in Northern California and in the Central Valley. Curiously missing was hearing from the people on the issues facing the citizens of Southern California. Citizens in this area feel the drop in both imports from the Colorado River Basin and the Northern California. In Southern California, we are experiencing the near perfect storm of reduced supplies, increased demand from rising populations, and the steadily increasing complexity of legal, environmental, and administrative requirements. The recent court decision regarding the management of the Colorado River and the quantification settlement agreement potentially throws years of negotiation and cooperation in jeopardy, and with it, water supplies for Southern California. Water is a basic human right. How many of us think about it's about it, the water source, when we turn on the tap in the morning to make our coffee or drink our tea? How many of us think about the journey that the drop of water has taken as it moves from the Sierras or the Rocky Mountains, the reservoirs, the canals, the water treatment plants, the pipes in the houses or our apartments? We all take it for granted. The reality is, as we're finding out, that quantity, quality, and real-time supply of water is critical to our health and well-being and to our basic economy. Every citizen in California deserves a clean and dependable source of water. Today, we're going to have three panels discuss three different aspects of the water issues in California. The first panel will discuss the federal state approach to the current water solution. This will include a discussion of the state of California's state water plan, followed by a discussion of the delivery of historic water legislation. Lastly, we have asked the Department of the Interior to discuss the federal water, Delta water plan, the impacts of the recent QSA decision on the Colorado River water supply, and the role of water reclamation and reuse to supplies here in Southern California. And maybe even the support of the administration's 2012 budget income increase rather to 200 million to alleviate the 600 million backlog on water recycle 16 um, recycling projects. And I'd appreciate if the, the people would point out so people behind you can see. Thank you so very much. Thank you for being here. The second panel will focus on the issues associated with water delivery to the citizens of Southern California. This will include discussions about impacts associated with the water delivery reductions from the two primary water supply sources of Southern California, imports from Northern California and water supply from the Colorado River system, and the impacts associated with the recent court decisions and what constraints this puts on supplying water to the citizens of the Southland. The last panel will address the science, hello science, and information needs that can help federal, state, and local water managers make better decisions and identification of specific local and regional impacts to the urban water users. 